So here's an update on the Twitter viewer. This is probably the last uh, episode in the uh, Twitter viewer movies because I think now it's kind of finished. I've been doing some polishing on it. And the first thing you'll see is that we now have a 3D model in the world. And that's a model of a pigeon in a metaphor for something that delivers messages. To actually get to uh, use the Twitter viewer, I need to open the control panel. And the control panel gives me access basically to one thing, to be able to search. There's no authentication anymore. We just use the standard search API that Twitter provides. And what I'll do is I'll search for Wonderland and I get some tweets back. So the thing that's changed is, first of all, in the list, we get the uh, URL uh, from the tweet and then we present the image based on that URL. We render it in a table. The tweets themselves are animated as if they're coming out of the pigeon. Um, and very similarly, we have the uh, image of the person who's doing the tweeting, their username, and the text of the tweet. Other things I can do is I can just close down this list view and just look at them appearing in world's animations. Uh, because they're what's called billboard nodes, I can move around and they'll always be facing me. So I don't need to orient myself so I can view them. The other thing that's changed is that this is now a long on long running query. Um, when you do a first query against Twitter, you get uh, a number of tweets back. Uh, I think it's about 15. Uh, one of the things that's changed now is that every 30 seconds, the query is rerun if it hasn't changed. And uh, any more tweets that have appeared since the first time it was run are added to the world. It looks like there's an extra three there. If I go back and open the control panel again, uh, they also get added to the list. Uh, alternatively, I can just search for something else like uh, FP7, which is the acronym we use for the Framework 7 European Union projects. Uh, does the same thing. It adds them to the world and it also adds them to the list. Because this is a new, uh, now a new query, it will just run that query every 30 seconds. So as I said, this is a much more straightforward way of viewing uh, tweets and requiring authentication uses the standard Twitter search API, um, presents them as an interesting way, animated way in world, but and also allows you to look at them um, through a list widget. So there we are. This just exists as a standard Wonderland module which can be deployed by anybody. Thanks.